Bring summoners, Embitters Live here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today I will be playing a normal draft game as Alistar. So quickly here, since I'm, I am playing support Alistar, I'll start with a fairy charm, three sight wards, and two health potions. This is a standard support start here. Now let's look at our team comp here. We got ourselves Ash and myself as Alistar bot. We also got a Vladimir mid, or actually he's top, a Galio mid, and a jungle Malphite. So pretty much our team is pretty tanky. Uh, I like I like this type of builds actually uh, in our team comps. I really I really like those. Uh, just getting those Bruiser type champions and general tanky with crowd control champions. And our enemy team has a Blitzcrank and Bane bot. Skarner jungle, ribbon top, and Ari mid. Now their team is uh, a, a lot more standard. They do have a healthy mix of damage and tankiness and crowd control. And I'm gonna quickly here grab my Q as my first ability, and let's talk about um, Alistar's abilities. So he's passive. It's called Trample, and what it does is every time you cast an ability, you gain uh, AOE damage for a short duration and the AOE damage actually scales off AD um, a your AP so this is a pretty decent passive Oops, I, I did a, a little mistake there but that's fine sorry jump the gun okay so uh, that's that uh, it's a pretty decent passive it does damage uh, in an area Eh, not the greatest passive of all, but it's here and we'll stick to it. Now we got your Q. Your Q is your first uh, AOE and crowd control effect you have. It's called Polarize, and what it does is, you saw me casting there, it does AOE damage around you and knocks everyone up. So this is one of the strongest crowd control effects in right now in the game because it is on a fairly short cooldown and it's fairly spammable and does a decent amount of damage even with no AP. Then your next ability is your W. Your w is called Headbutt and this is your initiation move and also a displacement uh, move against the enemy. What it does is a tar it's a targeted nuke that you're able to knock someone um, you 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 travel a short distance and then kick uh, throw someone even further Let's see if I can get it to work here. Okay, I I I, I was able to to um, to travel there a good amount. Oh, let's see if we can get a kill here. I almost got my headbutt again. Let's see. Yeah, I'll go for the kill. Oh, very bad bad idea there. They saw me. Okay, so you saw me there. Your your main combo is to go W, then your Q, and this allows you to get in position. And if you quickly press Q, you are able to knock people up and not travel that much, so you can get in a very nice position to uh, for your teammates to follow up. Uh, your next ability is your E, and it's called Triumphant Roar, and this ability actually is um, uh, uh, AOE heal. That every time you a minion dies around you, an enemy minion, you, the cooldown is lowered by two seconds. So this is actually pretty pretty nice heal ability. It's not that high of a heal, but it's extremely strong when you when you're clearing a minion wave and you're just spamming the heal. I'm gonna play down a ward real quick here on the dragon because we have pushed past the river and it's very helpful to be there. There goes Skarner actually, as you can see, it was like excellent timing on my part there. Now we can play safely here. They're very low actually, so even if they come, try and kill us. There we go. I had to use my flash to get in position there. But it was fine. Uh, we should fight this. I almost got my cooldowns again and I do got my heal. No! Oh, sadly she died. Let's see if I can do that. There we go, I, f I baited her. Uh, Ash flashed away from me, so I wasn't able to heal her. But that's fine, I got enough for a Philosopher's Stone now. 
this is a standard support item here. And I'll get another ward and a couple of health potions again. You see there how much disruption you can do on a on a team fight, especially when you're on your bot in the bot lane. You have so much crowd control effect early on, and since you're only fighting two versus two, uh, you actually can pretty much shut down the the carry by, for a very long time. Your heal, I like to take my heal at level one and just leave it there, uh, unless you're uh, unless your uh, teammates getting a lot of harassment, uh, a lot, harassed a lot, you should not level it any further than one. You should focus on your Q so you can do a lot of burst damage. Okay, I'm gonna help her out so she can clear with a arrow. Uh, come on, clear it up. Okay, she didn't throw her. For some reason, she didn't throw her volley there. She could have clear, cleared everything. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a ward on this part of the bushes. I don't want Blitz camping there. Even if I get pulled, it's not that bad because I can just go in there and... Okay, she just threw me away, that's fine. We have a level advantage here, we should take... A good. Oh, she... Barely got away. Just trying to zone her out as much as I can. Now I'm angry. Okay, so let's see what Blitz got. Okay, Blitz got boots, and that actually gives him a fairly good advantage over me, but I am gaining passive gold right now. Okay, also, uh, well, your ultimate for Alistar is called Unbreakable Will, and what it does is, if you're under a crowd control effect, you, you um, cleanse it. And after you cleanse it, you gain reduced damage for a duration, and you also gain uh, additional attack damage. So that's an extremely strong uh, ultimate. Early on, it's not, it's not that strong. It used to be 75%. But it got nerfed a couple of times. But I, it's still pretty high when you get at a level 3. This ability allows you to go in there and tank some damage for your team while they um, try and kill the, uh, the enemies. Also, it's extremely important for you to take Flash. Flash is one of the, is one of the required summoners on Alistar, in my opinion. Pretty much gives you... Um, a very strong positioning tool even with all the others you have she's dead there we go that's what you want to do you, you want to camp the oh, I'm fine I got my ultimate here to get away from the this and I'm gonna head back real quick to buy some boots it's on a in a fairly short cooldown the it's on uh, only two minutes I mean, it's not that low, but it's also not that high, so... So, heading back now. Like I said, uh, Alistar had his uh, combo, the W into a Q, is one of the strongest crowd control effects you can do, and in, the, in, my, in my opinion, one of the best initiation moves that does not require an ultimate in the game. Now you, you can build Alistar many different ways. Oh, I see if I can I can probably bait her. Okay, she's safe. Oh I might die here though. Oh no way. I should have attacked him once. Well that's fine. Stupid Oh maybe he's gonna get a kill here. Easily. Come on, come on. Yeah, she's dead. Good, good job there, Galio. Good reaction time on your part. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy two gold per five items. Get my Philosopher's Stone and then I'll, I'll get my Heart of Gold. And from there I'll just start building him uh, tanky. So he can initiate and stay in the fight. That's the way I like to build Alistar. And also, uh, I also like to get... Um, Mobility boots on Alistar because the, the initial movement speed is extremely good for initiating later on in the game. You can just quickly get into someone who's out of position or even head on into the team 
You can go in, do your ult uh, your combo, and then go do ultimate to stay alive. We'll see how that works out later on. I'm gonna take a little bit of the farm here. Yeah, they know they know I'm alone, but now I'm angry. should should get as much farm as I can when you're alone. But remember not to push the minion wave though. Nothing can hold me back. What are you doing, <laughs> Blitz? That's pretty dumb of you. Oh, that was. Yeah, that was great. Good job there, <laughs> Blitz. <laughs> okay, I almost got my. Go for the. Oh no! Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, god damn it, that Aris. Why is she still camping us? <sighs> oh well, okay, I got my mobility boots now. And I'm gonna try and do a since I did get him before the card of gold, I'm gonna try and do a gank on the on the mid here. Hopefully I can do something. Help Galio get a kill. They're probably doing Baron right, uh, Dragon right now. Oh well. Yeah, I probably just got Dragon, so I'm gonna try and see if I can gank at the mid. Will she fall for it? I don't know. Oh, I'm going for the gank here. Let's go. Oh, killer! Very nice. Good job there. Good reaction time on Galio, and good thing that Malfa just ran in there. Okay, I'm gonna put down a ward on this area here. Let me check if their blue is up. I'm gonna head back. <laughs> I can't really fight him. I'm angry. Okay, she flashed. That's great. You see my movement ske uh, speed there kicking on? Just dive them. I'm on my way. Excellent dive there. Don't even need to use my ultimate. Good job, good job team. Now we can take the tower. That's why I like tanky teams with a lot of crowd control. Just just can just go in there, dive them early on. And Alistar complements that that type of, of gameplay very well. Another champion that does that fairly well is um, Leona. Leona can do that very good, very good. Okay, I got enough for my Heart of Gold now, so I will be heading back. Okay, from Heart of Gold, I'm going to build a Glacial Shroud. And from there, I'll, I'll build a Banshee's build because you do need uh, HP to complement your Magic Resist and Armor. Oh no! Keep running! She should be fine if she, she lands another... Yeah, there, she, there we go. A good volley there. Oh, okay, now she's dead. Maybe one flash. Never mind. Too much crowd control. I don't think I can defend the tower completely. Oh, they have no minions. Should be fine. I'm going for another gank on the mid. Oh. I don't want to get killed by this guy. So he's going into our jungle. Let's go get him. Must yeah, he is in our jungle. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna run. Let's see Malphite. Okay, Malphite is also building two gold for fives. It's gonna give him very good uh, late game items. 
not so strong early game. Skarner is not built, it's only build a Philosopher's Stone. Go for the arrow! Oh, head back. Oh, true damage. One more hit. No. I, I don't think this works on Skarner's ultimate. I need to check that. Oh, go in there. Yeah, kill her. Yeah, go for the Skarner. Yeah, you got this. Epic, epic. There we go. Good job. Good, good. My debt was avenged. Nothing can hold me back. Let's see. Okay, let's look at the farm real quick. Our Ash has 71. And Bane has 61. And also Ash has 3 kills. Bane 2. Um, it's pretty even overall. But right now we do have a slight advantage on the team, on the enemy team, including a tower. I'm gonna do another gank on the mid. Remember, that's the reason I got the mobility boots, especially so I can, so I can do those uh, ganks to the mid. So apparently, okay, there she is. Let's see if she gets a little bit. I could, I could go through the back side here. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> she burned her flash and her ultimate. Now I'm angry. Yeah, those are the type of things you can you can do with Alistar. You can go in, headbutt them out of the tower, and then just kill them. Let's see. Top's doing a fairly good job. Against Riven, Riven has actually pretty strong against Vladimir. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't died yet. Oh, he died once, but he killed her two two times already. You must follow. Okay. Yeah, I got 433 move now speed. I'm angry with my level 5 boots oh yeah go 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 <laughs> so much crowd control there oh yeah go go for it try and kill us oh I'm going for this Yeah, there we go. Much better. Now we can do a safe and quick and easy dragon. Mid's not even there too. Okay. Blue, their blue buff is up. We should take it. Give it to Galio or Ash or anyone actually. Just, just steal it. Oh, Galio, you do no damage without your skills. There we go. That was a lot of gold for me right there. I know the way. Head back. Ari's coming, and she. Oh no 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 no! That's gonna ki get you killed. Oh, everyone's coming this way. It's gonna be pretty bad here. Go, go, go. Yeah, let's kill them. I don't got enough for a... No! Come on, Galio. Everyone's here. I got enough for one combo. Or not, not yet. Damn, that was pretty bad. Ash should have kept running. She should have uh, kept running this way. We do have a lot of damage. Now I'm angry. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough damage for that. Unless Galio gets a perfect ultimate off. 
with all his skills and everything. Okay, so again, level 5 boots allows me to get back on the fight real quick. Ooh. Can hold me back. Oh, this is an easy one. Just initiate this. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. He's dead. He so much. Oh, excellent arrow there. And she's dead. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love crowd control. Okay, so Riven's Mia. I'll head back. I don't want to get killed by her. Laying down my ward. That's a very good job on, on our team there. Yeah. Now, Gal is gonna push the mid. Probably gonna take it too. Okay, gonna work toward towards getting my magic resist, like I said. Mm, magic resist. There we go. If you really want to, you could go for a force of nature for faster movement speed, but I, I really like getting the Banshee's bill. Really? Oh, actually, we got a surrender boat. Okay, guys, so hopefully you like this game. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and let me know what champions you want to see next. And I'll do the best I can to upload them. And in better side, signing out.